We are doing an amazing pot roast. I love pot roast because you can do so many things with it, plus the leftovers are phenomenal. So I've got some garlic here, and I'm just gonna smash it right like that, and then just peel the skins off because I'm just gonna put it into the uh, pot hole with the meat. Uh, inspiration for this pot roast came when I was traveling to Morocco. I don't know if you've been to the city of Chef Chowan. It's called the Blue Pearl of Morocco. And everything's painted blue. The streets, the houses, everything. And there are theories as to why it's painted blue. Some say it keeps away mosquitoes. Others say it helps keep the houses cool during the summer. But the most popular theory seems to be that the uh, houses were painted blue when the Jews fled uh, during the 15th century Spanish Inquisition and went to uh, Chef Chowan. However uh, it occurred, it's absolutely gorgeous and it's almost magical. And people usually paint their house maybe twice a year, once or twice a year. Anyway, I was in Chef Chowan and you know, it's just all these little narrow streets that you meander and go down through. And I ended up in the sook and I had these aromas that were just coming and I kept following the aromas and it led to this little innkeeper who um, was cooking. And he was cooking in his tagine over uh, like a uh, Bunsen burner uh, flame. And in our way of communicating, because he spoke a little bit of English, uh, he told me about this pot roast. So that's the inspiration for this pot roast. It's not exactly like his, but it's really, really close. So we have the garlic and we're going to put it into, just into the bottom of the pan. This is gonna be so easy. Next thing we're gonna do is put in some roasted, uh, fire roasted peppers, red peppers. So those are gonna go in. You can roast them yourself, but hey, I just buy them roasted. Some pepperoncinis and a little bit of the juice. And now we've got this amazing spice mixture. It's harissa and some extra dried parsley and also some nutritional yeast. If you don't use nutritional yeast, if you follow me, you know that I love it because it adds so much to a lot of things that you cook and it adds a lot of nutrition. So we're just gonna take that and blend it in and then we're gonna add a can of tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. I'm gonna rinse it out with some water. And the last thing is the meat. I mean, how easy is that? Now, I've got some vegetables right here. I've got some baby uh, little potatoes and some carrots, and then I've got some onions that I'm going to quarter up. I think I'm gonna roast them instead of putting them in with the meat because uh, I just want the meat to shine. So this is very similar to the gentleman's roast that just captured my attention as I was meandering through these beautiful blue streets. Now let's get to the meat. I'm using a uh, sirloin tip roast. So, right here we have it. It's about a three pound roast. What I'm gonna do is cut it into pieces. That way it will cook faster and uh, it'll be just as tender. So I'm just doing about inch and a half to two inch slices. I've also already got a few cut up over here too. So let's take these. And then we're just gonna put them in the pot and let them cook. How easy is this? You can actually do this the night before and then come home from work and just put it in the oven. So I've got my oven preheated. Wow, this looks beautiful just like it is. Let me get the other pieces of meat right here and I'm gonna slice this one, and then we're gonna put them in. So let's put these pieces in, just snuggle them in these juices and, and these spices, oh my gosh. Imagine the aromas, they're gonna come out of this oven in about an hour. Ooh, it's gonna be delicious. Wow, that 
that is beautiful. And I'll cut up these other little pieces. So this is going to feed six of us, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, there's enough leftovers, because the leftovers are perfect for, uh, say, a vegetable soup, or uh, just, you know, sliders, anything like that. Okay. That's it. How easy was that? I'm going to put the lid on it, put it in the oven. And then I'm going to start working on those vegetables because they're going to be very simply prepared and then roasted in the oven and then served with this delicious uh, Moroccan inspired pot roast. Now I always sit my pot, whether it's a Dutch oven or this braising pan, on a cookie sheet because just in case it bubbles and it starts uh, spilling over, I don't want a mess in the bottom of my oven. So we'll put it right here take the braising pan. This is uh, actually, guys, this is my favorite, one of my favorite braising pans. No, it's the only braising pan I have, so it is my favorite. And I cook everything in it, so many things, including breads and cakes. I've got a link to it at my website. You are going to love it. So uh, invest in it because it's an investment piece and it's the kind that you hand down to, to others in your family, those who really appreciate cooking. Close. Close it. Our timer's gone off. It's time to take this pot roast out of the oven. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So let's get it out. Lots of steam coming off of it. going on here and I want the meat to shred with these two forks. So let's see. Ooh. Oh wow. I'm gonna be doing a lot of cleaning. I'll tell you how to clean and keep this braising pan like it's brand new all the time. But that's for another time. Okay. Oh my goodness. This looks so good. Perfectly tender. Now let's see how this meat shreds. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, look at that. Let's take this piece. Let's shred. That's what we want. The pepperoncini, the roasted, uh, oven roasted, fire roasted red peppers. You saw how easy this is to do. You just put it in the oven. You can prepare it the night before and then put it in the oven. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. And this is what we're putting into the oven next, so I better turn it back on. And uh, because this is what we're going to have with it. Instead of putting the vegetables in with the pot roast, roast them in the oven. They're going to be really good. So we've got cauliflower, carrots, sweet onions, and Dutch baby potatoes. So those are going to go in. This recipe is going to be at Allie'sKitchen.com. I mean, look at this. It's just absolutely fabulous. And it takes no time at all. I mean, you can go ahead with your day, do whatever you want, and then come back to something uh, insanely delicious. And pray for leftovers because that's going to make some really good uh, vegetable soup, maybe sliders, whatever. Mm -hmm. This is a Moroccan hot roast inspired by my trip to Morocco. Mm -hmm.